he must pull off two 360-degree turns, and it's vital he avoids being sucked into a third turn by the treacherous cross-current. Just be careful of the tide. Yes, of course. The tide takes him, and Will's knocked off course. Can he avoid being sucked into a dangerous third turn? Will must counter steer at exactly the right moment to get the Arctos back in control. In the zone, he's ready to advance to the final stage. Now in stage two, Kirsten must face her biggest fear and pull off two 360 degree turns. Yesterday, she couldn't do one and she crashed the Arctos. Okay, everyone, I'm going to get us into a position where I'm going to perform or attempt to perform the 720. Can she hold it together and steer the vehicle through two 360s and avoid being caught in the powerful cross current? She's losing control. Oh, my God. The tide has pulled Kirsten into a third turn, and it's taking all her concentration to get out of the mess. There we go. Finally, she's got the vehicle back in control. Will's in stage three, and must operate the hydraulic arm of the Arctos for the first time. Yeah, I'll bring that back and put the rear in tracks. Can he steer the 50-ton monster out of the water and onto the shore? He's pitching the front cab upwards and using the force of the rear engines to push the vehicle onto the shore. It's an excellent run for Will, and he completes the course in 7 minutes and 52 seconds. Yeah. Oh! Absolutely drained from nerves. Kirsten's finally hit stage three. Let's take this baby home. Getting caught in the cross current has cost her, and she's a minute behind Will's time. Desperate to make up the time, she's powering the hydraulic arm into action. Oh, I can't be sure I'm And she completes her run in nine minutes.